What's going on everybody? I'm Zach and this is the Command Dudes and we got a new camera. We got a great game for you this week. I got my first mono red deck so we figured we'd show it off by everybody playing mono red. See who's got the best mono red deck in the group. And as always you know I gotta hit you with the updates before the commanders. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Thank you guys. Uh, it's because of all your guys support. I decided to get this new camera which I'm super stoked on to hopefully bring up the production on this channel and make it more enjoyable for you guys. And if you are enjoying the channel might as well go ahead and subscribe, like our videos, if you want to support us more, you can definitely check us out on Patreon. Um, there'll be a link in the description below. You can earn stickers and other cool things, so make sure to go check that out. With that stuff all out of the way, let's check out this week's Commanders. Alrighty, so this week I'm testing out my newest deck, Magda. Um, basically, I want to get out as many dwarfs as I can early on, get some treasures going, and then pop in like a Blightsteel or a Dracuseth, and hopefully be able to win the game pretty quick. Tyler is once again playing his Krenko deck. This deck proves time and time again to be super fast, super aggressive, has tons of win cons through infinite tokens, through infinite damage by burning us, things like Perforos or uh, Bogart shenanigans, and it's going to be a real tough one to beat this week. Matt's playing his big red Perforos deck. This deck can just explode so quick once he gets his commander out, start dropping a whole bunch of big red creatures and artifact creatures, and if he can get sneak attack out, he can do it even quicker. This week Casey's playing his Laughless deck. This deck really just wants to get out as many early ramp pieces as it can, so then it can start playing those big red dragons as fast as possible. Then he'll use his commander to generate a bunch of tokens and value, and just be able to take over the game later on. With the commanders out of the way, it's time for the Command Dudes. Command Dudes! Command Dudes, woo! All right, sweet, let's do this. Draw. Oh, Casey, it's so cool. Oh! Oh man, you guys, this is not good. Dog, I have a blood meter Mountain and in a mono tap. Go down. Goblin Lackey. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, I can put a goblin into play for my hand. Okay. That picture is the grossest thing. That's the turn. His face is just horrifying. I like it. I don't. Fling land tap. Pass. Draw for turn. Oh, Lackey was my top Covered deck. Mountain. Pass turn. There's Draw for turn. turn. Mountain pass. All right. E -G -G. <laughs> <Untapped>. <laughs> yeah, it's over. <laughs> that was a good game. Mox one, is coming down. And breath. <laughs> tap two for an arcane signet. Oh my god. Um, swing at who should I first blood here? You know, there's only one red mat on the table. <laughs> That's Matt. Right. Focus, Zach. We'll attack Matt. There it is. <laughs> I knew it. I'm so proud of Tyler right now. <laughs> the best play <laughs> I've seen in a long time. Goblin ringleader. It's a good one. Top. Reveal the top four to. Three, four. And put all goblins. Top four. Seven. Skirt goes to hand. Blood moon? And the rest goes into the bottom of my library. <laughs> put that blood moon back in your hand. I saw you nah, slide it in there. A... <laughs> I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Let's see. You have one mana. Pass turn. One tab draw. Mountain pass. Matt. Matt. Draw for turn. Snow covered mountain. Tap in two for the fire diamond. Nice. Passing the turn. Matt. We're ramping. Draw. Play a mountain. Um, tap two <laughs> for a metallic. I hate it, but unfortunately, we're running out of lands. Um, oh my god. Metallic mimic so naming. Mimic. Uh, Dragons. Dwarfs. Dragons. <laughs> Monsters. Then I will pass the turn. Alright, untap. Draw. Play a mountain. Uh, we'll tap four for Cranko. Let's go Matt and Casey. No box. Nice. No box. Alright. 
Um, we'll put in Snoop. Ooh. Who's on top of your deck? Uh, Goblin Welder. I don't have one mana. How many cards in hand? Four. Okay, yep. Cool. Well, that's all I can do right now. Pass turn. Pay three, four. Alter the Pantheon. Go ahead, Casey. Uh, untap. Drop turn. Play him out. Dude, these land drops are really hitting lately. Do I play the card, guys? The ultimate card? Scred. Oh, no. Blood Moon. Tap <laughs> three. Blood Moon. Oh, shit. Oh, Embrith is a mountain. Everything's a mountain, boys. My flip lands a mountain. Fuck. Pass the turn. Feels Red good. Feels good. Draw. <laughs> the only time Blood Moon no one cares as much about. So. <laughs> yeah, usually everyone hates you if you play that card. <laughs> the mountain. Two. Cast my commander. Dude. Dude. And it gets a plus one, plus one. How big is she? A three, two. Okay, one for a dwarven trader. Uh, <laughs> oh, that looks old. <laughs> it's a nice old horsey. <laughs> How big is it? It's a two two now, thanks to my mimic. <laughs> or three Damn. two, sorry. sorry. Beat uh, sticks. Terrible creature in line. You stomping um, over me, Zach. I'm gonna hit well. I guess I'll swing at um, make Matt sad or yeah, make Matt sad. There you go. Three <laughs> damage, Matt. Yep. And I get a treasure. How does that make Matt sad? I'm just I hit him. I'm just taking damage. <laughs> Magda's cool, man. Magda's really cool. I like and that. I'll, I'll pass the one. Untap. Draw my welder. Flip. Say Goblin Warchief on top. What does it do? Goblin spells I cast cost one less to cast, and Goblin creatures I can control have haste. Um, oh I want to cast man. that, or I want to cast something from my hand. There's a correct answer. I mean, always oh, from the top haste. of the deck. <laughs> you just, yeah. All your tokens get haste. Blech. Matt, what's your answer um, this? I mean... Uh, I, I was thinking about casting that's... Perforos as my next turn. <laughs> Matt? The, the only problem that's happening right now is that I'm Arch Enemy, but I don't think oh, I yeah. have a follow-through right now. <laughs> Just yet. I don't have anything You have two creatures like... that aren't untapped. And I oh, should yes, be yes, untapped. Yes. I always forget to untap my creature. Um, how does this function? Is it a mountain? Does it come in untapped? Does it, it comes in? Happen? What what card is it? Spine Rock Null. Uh, enter the oh, battlefield hey, ability has happened, but you can't activate it until that blood moon's gone. Okay, so you do get the hide away. So, so oh. like scry lands happen and shit like well, that. I don't want to play yet. I want to play that war chief. Um, so right here about the land coming in as a non basic and getting its effect, and then blood moon taking over. I don't know where I read that online. I saw that somewhere like a couple months ago, saying that like Scrylands enter the battlefield still tapped and you still scry. I don't know. It's completely different, I guess. I we looked it up after the game. Someone in chat told us, and yeah, it comes in untapped and it's a mountain. Okay, so the ability happens, and I put a card under it, but then I can never get that card. Unless yeah, basically, it goes away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's not going <laughs> away because we, we're all playing. <laughs> we're all playing red. <laughs> Oh, and I have to do it. This is a bad card. All right, well, let's tap three to bring Blood this Moon out. Blood Moon <laughs> Oh, that's a mux. Wait, <laughs> wait, when did that happen? <laughs> Matt, did you give him that? Trade him? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Well, I don't think I'm playing that land anymore. <laughs> um, I don't have six mana either. Get there eventually. But I do have Goblin Lackey if I can get him through. <sighs> okay. Um. Holy fuck, moly. Matt, what's your answer to this problem? Commander pass. 
Let's go ahead and Plastic tap one man. for a skirk. Yep. Holy cow. There's the Muxus. That could be a Muxus. That is a Muxus. Um, It'd be one of that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would become a Muxus. Should we try and whiff on Muxus? <laughs> I mean, you have the power to do it right now, Tyler. And he has haste, so him a swinging is good too. We'll tap Krenko yeah. to make six goblins. Muxus costs six. Uh, five because he's reduced by one. Five. Yeah. Sack some of the. Goblins. So we'll sack down to one to cast Muxus. Three. Uh, when he ETBs, reveal the top six. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we get a goblin assassin. So we're all going to flip the card a coin. You wanted. And a goblin <laughs> matron. That's a search. Nice. Anything so, else? Oh yeah, sorry. Lands and stuff. Gotcha. Um, when goblin assassin or another goblin comes into play, each player flips a coin. So we so all we're gonna flip, flip two coins. coins. Yep, two coins. Okay. No roll of dice. I don't know where Rock Lee Because it happens for Matron and for Goblin Assassin. Uh, each player whose coin comes up tails sacks a creature. What if I have no creatures? Sacks? Can I just skip flipping the coin? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Matt, too. Thanks, so I Tyler. Need to hit I need two to heads. Hit heads. Nice Kisame coin. <laughs> nice. That's tails, I so head? I gotta sack one. <laughs> sack a creature. That's tails, so I gotta sack oh, two. No. I got tails. I am gonna sacrifice a horse. A dwarf. You can't get rid of the horse, Zach. Mm, um, <laughs> he won't think I win. I need a blocker, I think. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be sacking uh, one of my tokens because I flipped two tails. Matron's ETB is on the stack, but she's gonna be also one that I sack. Um, when she comes into play, search my library for a goblin, put it to my hand. We'll get the churgeon. What's that, That's the regenerate one. Pay zero and sack a goblin to regenerate a goblin. The only problem is if I play that Churgeon, I might have to sacrifice a goblin. <laughs> but that's probably The matron okay. goes to the grave. Yeah, the matron's gonna go. I'm shuffling. Snoop. Ooh, perf. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Matt, what is going on here, dog? Next. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Why is everyone like Matt? What's going on? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm just sitting oh. here. Oh. Um, okay. Matt can't cool. play his commander next turn. Matt can't play his commander next turn. Oh, what are we supposed to do, Zach? I'm a dragon deck. Dude. We All need, we need like, Blasphemous. It's cost, dude. I didn't know the game was going to be over. Turn four. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll wait until must, before I say anything. Blasphemous act. Um, One of us three have to draw it. Okay. So we'll send the lackey at Matt. Um, the matron's dead, by the way. Oh, matron's dead. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm not going to swing with Skirk. Muxus would be a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Muxus is ten. Pog. Um, He's got haste, right? Yeah. Yeah. All goblins I have, I control. I have haste right now. I can jump him, so you might want to hit one of them with that. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I saved my horse chick. No, for, uh... Zach, you can jump him, but that gets rid of one of your mana-producing dwarves. Oh, okay, Matt. Yeah, deal <laughs> ten damage to someone's okay. face so or kill one of your chick. mana rocks. <laughs> destroy one of your mana rocks or hit us for ten. I don't know. It's a Tough it's not <clears throat> tough, Matt. <laughs> to hit Matt All I'm ten. saying is Send that produces you mana. <laughs> Muxus at Muxus at also Matt. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I want to send anyone else? We'll send the assassin at Casey. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I take eleven. Yeah, we'll put the Churgeon into play. Flip a coin. Everyone flips a coin, but if you have creatures. Oh, oh man. Tails. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> On heads. It's heads. We're like you. Lucky. Oh, you son of a bitch. Um, we'll sack the ringleader. That's my turn. Okay. 
Good turn. Mm-hmm. What's up? Draw. Rip it, Matt. Rip it. Mountain Please, for uh, a turn. That's not a mountain. It is a mountain. That's a mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the... Alright. I have Wheel of Misfortune. Do I play the card? Oh, Matt. What does it do? It's the one where everybody picks a number. And, uh, and <laughs> whoever chooses the highest number takes a bunch of damage. Whoever picks the lowest number does absolutely nothing, but everybody else gets to discard their hand and draw seven. Uh, it's up to you, Matt. My hand. Do you guys want to discard your hands and draw seven? I mean, I guess it gets us towards the Blasphemous Act, I guess. That's what I'm saying. I, mean, I possibly me. might have somewhat of an answer, maybe. I have an answer to Perforous, but... It's just his thing that can regenerate, right? He just has to sacrifice. But he has to sacrifice. I do have to sacrifice a creature to do it, so... Wipes He's got enough half. creatures, though. It would hurt his board for sure. Yeah. I would. can hurt his board next turn, Matt. I can keep the key players, but it would hurt my board, okay. yes. Then I will play a card instead. I will pay five to cast Terror of the Peaks. And then I'll pass. Go ahead, Casey. Uh, one tap. Drop two. Play a mountain. Oh, wait, Terror might just die. No, Ugh. it won't kill Terror. It'll Pong. damage it, but it won't kill it. I'll tap four, and I'll play Fiery Confluence. And uh, I'm going to choose three. He may choose the same mode more than once. So for my mm -hmm. three, I'm just going to pick Fiery Confluence deals one damage to each creature. So okay. it'll deal three damage to each creature. Three damage oh. to each creature? Yeah. Okay. Sucks, but... I mean... I will sacrifice... You gotta do something, Zach, to kind of hold back on <clears throat> time. I will sacrifice the Lackey to regenerate Franco. I will sacrifice Snoop to regenerate Skirk. And I will sacrifice the Assassin to regenerate the Warchief. Hey. Luxus stays alive, and the Churgeon will die. And then your skirt, your guys are attacked. Oh yes, 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 they are. Good. Uh, My turn, Casey. Yeah, that's all I can do, boys. I tried. Untap. Draw. I think it was better Yikes. than most, right? Mountain. It was a good turn. Yeah. I tried to help us out. To make up for Seven Matt's dwarves. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, that's it. Pass turn. Seven <laughs> dwarves. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Untap. Draw. Don't reveal the top, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Play a mountain. This might be GG's. Oh. Um, Maybe for me, I am the lowest. I will tap two. No, I have an infinite combo. Oh, well, that's probably uh, GG. Thornbite staff, uh, um, and then. I have a response to that. Okay. Response. Because that says whenever a creature mm -hmm. dies, it untaps? Yeah. This creature just one day on the creature whenever a creature is put into play, so you'd make goblin sack one and then untap and then be able to do infinite things. Mm -hmm. And then you could also uh skirk. You got the bolt for Krenko? <laughs> yeah, I have a response. Okay. Guys, do I stop this or do I stop Perforus? Well, if he gets an infinite, I think we just lose. So. Well he needs yeah. well that gives him the infinite. Yeah, I gotta stop this. Alright. <laughs> Pay two. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Tibble's Trickery. Mm -hmm. oh, counter targets counter target spell and then I choose one, two, or three at random. Oh, okay. Um, one, two, um is one, three, four is two, five, six, three. So I'll choose one, uh, you mill one card. Okay. I mill one card. You mill one card and okay. then you Exile cards from the top of your library until you hit a non-land card with a different name than Thornbite Staff, and then you may cast that spell for free. Okay, so I mill one. Yeah. 
Maybe red landscape, and then I reveal probably just the top card. As long as it's not a land. Okay. First so non land. Bogart shenanigans. Uh oh. What is that? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like, this was going on Krenko, make five trillion zombies and swing face, so. so yeah. Or zombies. Uh, uh goblins. Yeah. So yeah. you were all you don't going even to need lose. a purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is counter. Yep. Oh, you can gosh. cast Bogart shenanigans for free. This yeah, time, right? I, I think I'll do that. So, <laughs> whenever another goblin I control is put into the grave, it deals one damage to target player. Cool. And that was the only reason I kept the hand. Let's play that one card. Let's go. Get the hand with Blood Moon, so I'll feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> Let me see if I can still squeak this out. Three for a Staff of Domination. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we'll tap Cranko to make four. Is this also an infinite? It could be. <laughs> oh no. Tap Cranko to make four. Um, no, it taps the Staff. Well... Well, you can untap the Staff. For one. Yeah, let so me you think just here. Have the, you so, just have the if I... Five? Yeah, if I were to sack three... And tap this, I can untap Krenko, then tap it to make five now. Yeah. And then sack one. Hold on, to we take a bunch it. of damage when you sack this. Yeah, that's I right. I think we okay. lose. Yeah. So. I think that's GG. Yeah, so I made four, sack three down to tap the staff to untap Krenko. So you would all take three. Tap Does it Krenko. do it to each player? Oh, to target. No, player. one player. Oh, but if you can keep, do this infinitely. Let's just keep hitting Matt in the face. Um, <laughs> well, we'll the, there's a chance five. he doesn't net enough. We'll sack one. Max, Matt takes another one. To untap staff. So that's one more goblin than before. Yeah. And then you so can infinitely... I will it. repeat that to ping everyone down. Whoa. GG. Man. Unfortunately, Tyler's deck is so fast. I mean, Perforos and Laughless, they're not going to keep up with Goblins. I tried my best, but I really wasn't able to do anything. I really only kept the hand to have the Counterspell, because I never used it before. And while it did work, it didn't really work out completely. I still was able to combo off and win. But that just goes to show how versatile Goblins can be. There's so many ways to win with them, so many outs, so many ways to get like infinite like tokens and damage and all stuff like that. So definitely a super strong deck. Before we go, I just want to give a big, huge shout out to our first patron that earned like a, a name in the credits. And they are Action Commander. And just because they're the first, I'm going to give them a shout out. So thank you so much. Your support is appreciated. And I hope I can keep on creating content that you enjoy. It's also been a great pleasure to have you in the Discord. You're super funny. And welcome to the Command Dudes community. That's it, guys. That's all we got for you this week. Um, there is a game two of this Mono Red Madness. If you guys want to see that episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. And let us know what your favorite Mono Red deck is. Uh, anyways, before we go, just make sure to uh, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Twitch. We stream every Saturday, 9 p.m. PSD. And then next next week, we're even having a special Patreon game. We're having two uh, of our patrons come on, have a game or two. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. See you next time.